Today, I am going to go mess around with my Audi S4, except I am not going to drive it anywhere. I have this VAGCOM cable right here, it plugs right into my OBD2 port, and then on my computer over here, I currently have a thread on Audizine pulled up, which has all the VCDS, aka like VATCOM, the coding stuff that you can do. You can disable and enable and adjust a bunch of stuff. So there's the kind of people have compiled this big long thread of common things to do on the B8 vehicles. And some of the ones that I really want to do, like the wink, disable the LED wink on the turn signal. That's something that I uh, really don't like seeing, and that's like the first thing I want to do. A couple other ones, interior lighting, there's like, I can turn off the seatbelt chime that yells at you. Same thing like the key stuff, like there's a few things you can mess around with. So, let's see, I've got VCDS open right here. Uh, I have not done this before. I was present when a friend, well, when a friend, when my housemate, roommate, whatever, was coding his R8 um, with the mess of the wing. So I'm gonna go downstairs, plug it in, and let's see how it goes. Down in the garage, the S4 is uh, currently sitting out there in the back. Let's go start it up. Um, okay, so first things first, we're gonna find the OBD2 port, plug it in, hook it up to the computer, and let's see. I'm gonna set the camera down for a quick second as I set all of that up. So there we have the OBD2 port. Got my phone flashlight going, so you can see the pink connector right there. So I hook up the cable, hooked in. We got a little light indicator that uh, I assume means it's got a proper connection. So now let me grab my laptop, and then it just USB straight to the other side to the laptop. So like I mentioned, this is my first time doing this, so I have not checked this before. So I want to do this, disable LED wink on turn signal first. I'm just going to highlight that so I can see it easily. So let's see, it says uh, 09 Central Electric, so I'll go to my control modules, I'll select that, wait for it to load, and then 09 Central Electric, electronics I assume, and give it a second to wake up. So this is what I'm doing. I'm still in the central electronics section. Go to long coding helper. We'll drop down to byte three. We're gonna uncheck here the wink. Exit, do it. It applies, coding accepted. And now let's go outside and check. Turkey signals are still running. I'm gonna show you guys a before and after. So this is before, stock from the factory. See right here, the DRLs are on. I turned the headlights off, so that's just the daytime running lights. When the turn signal is activated, the DRL turns off, so that's what's called like a wink. It's a wink effect. Now, what I want to do is I want the DRL to stay on while I have the turn signal activated. So we'll go back in and activate that. So now we have no more wink. Both DRLs are on, and I have my right turn signal activated. That's what I wanted. Looks a lot better. I'm not going to film myself coding every single one, deciding whether or not I want it or don't want it, and also figuring all of them out. Kind of just wanted to show how to do it. So it's kind of following along with me figuring out because I haven't done it before. I didn't even do that much research. It's pretty straightforward. You get the cable, you get the VCDS software, and then just Google. Um, there's All the forums are really helpful. People have all these codes and instructions, and they are super, super clear. You guys just watched. Plug the cable in. Um, go to this thing and like, for example, I just did the wink. You just simply follow the steps. You see 09 uh, Central Electronic. Well, you go through and just follow. You've got coding and then it says go to long coding helper. You see what byte you do what. You change the numbers. It's a bunch of checking, unchecking boxes. Some of them you might have to mess with some numbers, but overall, I mean, it, it seems to be really, really simple and straightforward. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. With some uh, higher end, or I don't know if newer necessarily, but higher end Audis, you can mess up a lot. So Nick, my uh, friend who really wants to buy an RS7, he really wants to get a car with air suspension because via VADCOM, you can lower the car by a significant amount on the stock air suspension. You cannot do that with the DRC. Uh, other things, I mean, on some of the more advanced cars with like adaptive cruise control, you can mess with settings too. So overall, it's a, it's a really easy way to start changing settings of your car. You can even go in and read codes and stuff like that, I think, um, before I say that, let me just double check. I, I'm 99% sure you can do that. Close controller, go back. Um, either way, cool feature, how to mess around with your Audi. Uh, I am messing around with my Audi S4 and happy I no longer have winking daytime running lights when I have my turn signal going. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, comment below. Thanks for watching.